The full house has approved a new proposal for assessing, preparing and testing middle school and high school students for national academic tests. Supporters say it will give teachers freedom to teach, something they say the soon ending state standardized test did not allow. The North Carolina General Assembly overwhelmingly voted earlier this legislative session to end state-produced standardized tests for high school students. A new bill, House Bill 766, would create new assessments for elementary students and ending with all North Carolina high school students taking at least the ACT. The other tests were based on subject matter. You've got a test with U.S. history or a test with civics. This is just a test that will test all students. It's a broad stroke and it really addresses our uh, problem that we're having with kids that need to be remediated. The State Board of Education would work with education boards of 42 other states to track student academic growth on a multi-state, not necessarily a multi-county basis, as was tracked under state subsidized tests. It just makes it widespread and it makes uh, our, you know, more it's a universal, I guess it's a better accepted nationwide than what it would be when you just have it in a state, but uh, the same concept. This new public school testing bill appears to be supported by the education community and on a bipartisan basis in the House. Supporters say national scale testing is a more effective replacement for the concluding state testing process that some argued must exist so North Carolina can constitutionally guarantee all state students have a sound and basic education. I know that we hear a lot of concerns sometimes from teachers in the classroom and from parents that um, we, we waste too much time teaching to the test, valuable classroom time. And my experience with this type of testing is that it doesn't lend itself to teaching the test. The new national testing standards would take effect for the 2011-2012 school year. Mecklenburg County Representative Tricia Cotham is here with us to discuss a national school testing bill. Tell us about it first of all. You say it starts in the eighth grade. It does. The goal of this bill is to assess our students in a fair and reasonable manner. A few weeks ago, as you reported, we got rid of the four state tests at the high school level. It's a bipartisan bill that Representative Holloway and I have brought forward to really change the way North Carolina assesses our students. Currently, what we were doing is we were only using the end of grade test or the end of course test so a standardized test. This is the opposite. This is more of a formative way to assess students and the difference is in a formative test such as the ACT is what we are recommending is you can change the way you are doing instruction so to meet the needs of your students. Current law the way it is right now the end of course test you can't change the way the student just gets a score. What happens in the eighth grade when the educator sits down with a student and his or her family and you start assessing where that student is headed? So the student will take the eighth grade explore test and based on how he or she does, they would have that discussion and look at those test results. But it also starts the dialogue between middle school and high school, looking at student Kelly, seeing where he's strong and where he's weak, and so that they can better help that student be successful for whatever he or she wants to do. We hear about tracking. Maybe some kids are equipped to go to university. Some may be millionaires and waiting by going the community mm -hmm. college route. Mm -hmm. Who gets to make that decision? Because I think you'd look at a test that young and say, okay, you're, you're geared towards this or that. Right. That is not the intent of this bill at all. Um, we would hope that the parents and the child and the school counselor would help make that decision. But the goal is not to say, well, if you score a certain score, then you must go this way. And if you score this, then you can go this way. That is not the goal or the intent at all. I saw in that bill you had to the extent funds are available we will offer or, or every student shall take the ACT store, mm -hmm. score at, or test at least. Um, is, is that saying if the money's there, you would subsidize ACT testing for kids who can't afford it? That's correct. The, the State Board of Education would flow that money down to the counties so that the counties do not have to pay for this test. The state would pay for this test if funds are available, and, and we hope that funds will be. Take all those kids, all those ACT stores, scores, who do you compare them with? Um, so the scores would be compared against other states, Not but, counties. It, but, it, but it can be compared against counties so that for state reporting we know. But this, unlike what we currently do, this will not punish the child. Um, you know, there's the court case out there and there's some threats that if you ended state sub uh, standardized testing that 
it would be unconstitutional. It may get overturned. And now, is this going to satisfy those concerns of, of I, some people? I'm not sure if that's going to satisfy that one judge in particularly. He has a right to, to his opinion. Of mm -hmm. course, there are many people who disagree with him, but that is not our concern. Our concern is making sure that we assess students in a fair and reasonable way and something that's really going to make them better prepared for whatever they want to do. Representative Gotham, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me.